Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink and this is Mink's Kinks. And y'all, we're getting into a wash and go today and um, I'm, I'm a little nervous about this one. But first things first, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Mink. We are on the road to 1K. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Join our Kinky Crew fam. Let us know if you're new here so that I can personally welcome you and all of that good stuff so let me tell y'all the base because y'all know we like to share what i use for wash day so i use the honey's handmade melba's kitchen collection edition 2 the beer shampoo bar and then i went in with a conditioner the conditioner call is not out yet it's an urban hydration conditioner um it's the one in the green is it green yeah green bottle <laughs> and then i just got finished with the curls green collection hair mask whatever that mask is so i'm excited um my hair feels great i really like that mask spoiler alert if you have not seen that video go check that out because it's it's a banger it's discontinued though which I hate that for us okay um but yeah let's talk about what we're getting into today so today y'all we're going to do a wash and go and it's actually with three different products all from honey's handmade y'all know i'm trying to use up the stash with honey's handmade um I'll link the video in the ad cards for what but um yeah so we're gonna go in with the melba's kitchen collection edition three um these are the products from that line and we're gonna do a wash and go so um let me tell you all a bit about the products so this is the melba's leave-in hair shake this is a leave-in um i did use this once before and i'm about halfway i think you guys should be able to see that i've used this once before i think i used it with the coconut water glycerin free gel i think that's what it's called um and it didn't last for me i think it's because it, it was warm that day and rainy and everything but it didn't last um but this leave-in didn't have the most moisture for me but we'll go ahead and try it again um this was the surprise product it's four ounces i wasn't wowed um the first time i used it we'll leave it at that but we'll give it another try today see how that works i hopefully won't use half the bottle i plan on using the rest of this next week <laughs> with something else that i'm using um just because like i said just didn't wow me so that's what we're going in for the leave-in and then we're going in with the melba's pound cake curl cream hair smoothie i do have a video on this and i haven't picked up this product since hopefully you guys can see that but that's about how much i used in that one use so it was a pretty pretty decent amount that i did use but again when i did this review and i went back and watched it again because it's been so long since i picked this up i remember that it didn't have the best moisture like the moisture lasted a couple days but it wasn't anything you know wow worthy so i'm hoping that putting these two together and i'm gonna let them sit for like 10 minutes hopefully you know it they layer onto each other and it gives me more moisture and then the star of today's show is the gel so it's the melba's lemon meringue curly friendly wet jelly this is what it looks like i'm super excited that it has a pump um there's not too many gels that have a pump and it's still thick y'all now what i will say is my product is not filled all the way up okay so i'm maybe like right where the label starts and i thought maybe it was because like maybe with the lid it won't close down but it literally doesn't move like at all but it's okay that's part of one of the reasons why um there's so much frustration with honey's handmade so i'm gonna just let it let it slide because it kind of is what it is now i'm using up the stash anyway from them so i'll just get the uses that i get out of it so y'all i'm coming on here today with five parts instead of my usual four i just sectioned off this front piece here because i am doing a wash and go but i wanted to add a little bit of razzle dazzle so i'm gonna do a twist coming all the way over and then i'll just tuck it whenever um you know my hair is dry just for a little extra you know razzle dazzle but like i said this is what my hair looks like coming out of that deep conditioner and my hair feels absolutely amazing so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in so i'm going to split this section into half i guess yeah i guess we'll do half and then we'll go in with the leave-in well i'm gonna spray my hair down with some water uh, my hair's still damp but y'all know i like to work on wet hair So, um, did you guys pick up 
edition three i know a lot of people are kind of done with honey's handmade but like what products do you still have in your stash are you still shopping with them you know all of that stuff um i used to be a honey's handmade stand but you know there was a couple straws that broke the camel's back for me and um you know just gotta you know do what's best for you you know what i'm saying so we're gonna go in with this leave-in i remember that i ended up taking the um pump off because it was just too much y'all i'm sitting here pumping and nothing's coming out maybe that's why i wasn't using a pump i don't know but i don't have all day to be doing this so we're just gonna go ahead and take this out ooh, 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 ooh. and this product to me smells like very floral um there's nothing floral in here but it just smelled really floral to me not sure why but it does so i'm going in with about this much and as y'all can see it is runny so i like that it did come in the spray bottle maybe mine was just effective i don't know i'm also not patient enough to try and figure it out but go ahead and apply that and it applied really really well um it like smoothed right into my hair which i really do like that and as you guys can see i'm able to finger detangle a bit y'all know i detangle in almost all of my my steps so um yeah that was that was nice i don't really like the smell it smells like gardenia that's what it smells like and i'm not really i love floral smells but gardenia is not the one for me so that's what it smells like but you know hopefully the pound cake and then the lemon meringue hopefully it just smells like delicious lemony cake batter after i'm done so um that's what my hair looks like just with that spray leave-in and now i'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the um the curl pound cake curl smoothie all right y'all so i've grabbed about this much of the curl smoothie i didn't want to grab too much because i'm already going to have the leave-in and then the curl cream and then a gel so just layering a lot of products you guys know that i typically only do two product wash and goes but um I don't think that the curl cream is a leave-in i think that that's something that needs to be paired with something else but it smells delicious um and i like the way it feels going on right now my curls are already a bit weighed down so i'm excited to see what it's going to look like with the the gel as well y'all know i really did like the gel from edition two that's the um apple curl glaze really really did like that one that was really nice so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm using the rest of the eden body works lavender and aloe oil and i went ahead and put some herbs in it because i'm not the biggest fan of this oil um it just didn't do much for me personally but we're just going to go ahead in with the oil. I forgot to oil my scalp on this section, so I'm going to go back and do that. But yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and keep applying this to all of the sections. And then we'll come back. I'll tell you guys how the rest of the application went and everything. And then we'll start talking about the, what is it, lemon meringue gel. All right, you guys. So I'm back. As y'all can see, you have let the leave-in sit. And, and um, I went in with this. I'm now about here so um i'll finish this up next week and then i went in with this and this is about halfway now um so maybe two more uses depending on how i use them i plan to always use like a spray leave-in under this it just didn't have a lot of moisture for me um so this is about halfway gone so i'm guessing like two more uses left of that i finished the eden bodywork oil and then i went in with the myel organics mint almond oil just in the spirit of using up brands that I no longer am purchasing from, I will say off rip, I really like this oil. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I only used it on about the front section and I think the side section. And when I tell y'all the tingle is okay. Okay. So um, comment down below uh, oil that's similar because um, this is this is good okay this is good and there's only three ingredients i think so it's soybean oil sweet almond and then peppermint oil I, I like this yeah i like that for sure but let's go ahead in with the start of the show as we talked about this is the lemon meringue curly wet jelly so on the directions it just says part your hair into ringlets apply to wet or damp hair 
um, or even dry hair, interesting. Make sure to work through from roots to tips on damp hair, apply gel from roots to inch and blow dry to extend volume with your wash and go style. Apply more as desired, do not rinse out. Um, there's not really much, it's a gel. They said apply it girl, okay. Um, which we can get into and then the ingredients I'll give you guys a couple there's um, organic aloe leaf juice lemon butter lemon essential oil carbomer organic witch hazel which is interesting and then um, glycerin so it is supposed to rain here all week so that'll be interesting to see how the glycerin works but I love baby I love the pump let me tell you something so um my hair was applying the two or soaking up the two products pretty well my hair did feel pretty heavy i want to say um y'all know that i typically can we get into the wind <laughs> um but my hair typically just i usually am good with just one leave-in i usually use like a creamy leave-in and that's usually okay depending on the gel that i use but like i said both of these products just didn't wow me so i wanted to make sure that i went in with other things that i knew for sure would get the job done so my hair does smell kind of interesting right now so i smell the gardenia from the leave-in i smell the pound cake and then i have that mint so just all the smells together are very interesting to say the least but this is what my hair is looking like just with the um, leave-in and curl cream and there is some serious curl definition here so I'm just y'all already know how I do my wash and goes um, today I'm just taking bigger sections because I want a more like clumped I want a more like clumped wash and go I guess um, so I'm only gonna spray a bit of water I'm very excited to go in with this gel because like I told y'all I really did like the addition to and my addition to I think I have like two wash and goes left so rip to her okay perfect so this is how much one pump comes out as so i'll just go with the one pump it is a, a thicker gel which i like um smells just like lemons um y'all just a gel and then i'm gonna just go ahead and apply that on the whole section and immediately it's a thick gel so i feel it really coating and weighing down my hair which i like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and i am shingling pretty medium sized pieces so i'm just pulling them and just breaking them down i don't do the like twirl it around or anything i just take like those sections um and then i'm just working it down oh that's nice ah, yes so you can also go where your hair naturally separates. That makes it easy. So yeah, y'all, that's what I'm going to do. But so far, really, 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 really like the weight of this gel. Yeah, I really like the weight of this gel because y'all know I recently finished. Well, not recently, girl. I finished my wet line, the old wet line. The new formula just doesn't have as much hold for me. Um, So... I really like that this gel has hold. Unfortunately, I won't be able to repurchase it. Well, I can, but I choose not to. Um, but love to have another like thick gel in my stash. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep applying. Um, I guess I'll show you guys another couple sections or so. Um, turn on some music and yeah, I'll see you guys when my hair is dry. Okay, you guys, so I'm back and these are the final results. Let's get into it. Y'all, don't mind my twist in the front. I didn't redo it this morning. I thought it looked okay, but it's a little ratty now because it is warm outside now. But these are what the curls are looking like. So what my tighter section looks like. And yeah, y'all, I just put this little twist in the front. I didn't pick. My hair was still very much wet. <laughs> very much wet when i left the house this morning so let's quickly talk about the products and then we'll talk about my hair and everything so i first went in with the melba's leave-in hair shake um i don't think this is a product to write home about 
um the moisture is okay it doesn't last on its own for me i tried it by itself and it just you know it was just a you know okay product so would i repurchase it no i'm not buying anything from honey's handmade again but um you know i'll use it up and as y'all see i have a very little bit left so i'm gonna use the rest of this next week and then um pair it with something else because lord knows this isn't enough for my whole head and then next i went in with the pound cake curl cream hair smoothie and i'm about halfway through the product now um so i anticipate about two more uses left of this depending on how i use it i won't use it by itself as a leave-in again because y'all saw the review i just it was pretty but it just didn't have the moisture that i require especially for a wash and go so um i think that this is again an okay product but nothing to write home about for me i need the moisture to last and um this just didn't last on its own so um it's cool to pair with something else it smells absolutely divine um but just on its own it... and then y'all last but not least is the lemon meringue curly wet jelly and i will say you guys this i actually did like but as y'all saw it was not filled all the way to the top so now i'm about here on the jar i don't know how much of that y'all can see but it's about right here so i'll get like two more wash and goes um, I actually do really like this. I feel like the combination of the leave-in, the curl smoothie, and this plays with the hold a bit. So I definitely still have hold and there's definitely still a crunch, especially up at my roots. Um, my hair still looks pretty for sure. I just don't know how long it's going to last. Y'all know I typically do two product wash and goes, not really three products because it always messes with the hold for me. I'm not sure how this is going to hold up. I know for sure I'll get at least three days out of it, especially being that I didn't even pick it today and it still looks good. I'll probably just pick out the roots just to give it a little, you know, just a little volume. But yeah, I do think it's really pretty, but I think between, you know, the hair rubbing on the back of my shirt and then the weather and everything, it's just you know but i do think that this was actually a really good gel i actually did like this it weighed my curls down it definitely added shine and all of that which we love to see it so this was definitely the star of today's show and i do really like it um the glycerin is towards the middle i only have like two more uses left of this as y'all saw so i'm exp i'm excited to experiment a little bit with this and play around with this because it was still pretty moisturizing and it gave me the hold so this one this was a good one i did like this one um in comparison with the curl glaze i don't know i would have to put these side by side i don't plan on doing that though because um i got so many uses with the wash and go out of the curl glaze whereas with this one i felt like i had to use it didn't feel like i was using a ton of product but it when i opened the jar it was clearly you know substantial so yeah you guys that's the end of this video i hope that you enjoyed let me know what you think of this down below um i'll probably put some like jewels in the front and everything and can't wait for it to get big and everything but the curl definition is still pretty good and then like look at that come on it's a good mix of curl definition and frizz so yeah you guys i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one bye